Dude, what's up with this ladder? It looks like the ladder was from the 1800s. Like they can't afford a nice fiberglass ladder or aluminum ladder. <laughs> it literally looks like something straight out of the 1800s. Looks like something from uh, Little House on the Prairie, right? Like seriously, guys, y'all get a better ladder. I mean, they're dealing with hazmat stuff in here. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Spur, and it is once again Emergency Monday. The weekend is done and gone by. Went by way too fast. It always does, right? It always goes by so fast. So I had an absolute blast this weekend. It was a great weekend. We're back in Emergent YC, though. We're on the Brooklyn map, and we're doing another viewer request. Uh, this time, I had someone leave a comment and said, uh, I should do some EMS runs, right? It's been a minute since we've done some EMS calls. So this is going to be nothing but uh, EMS runs today uh, with my man here for the FDNY in the Fortis Ambulance. So let's see what we can get into. Uh, we're going to kind of go through the whole thing today. I'm not going to cut uh, this stuff out like I usually do. So let's go to F1 and uh, we'll go to the calls list and we'll filter it by EMS here. And there's a few in particular that I want to hit up. Uh, definitely this one right here. I want to hit this one up. It is going to be a man that has fallen off a ladder. Uh, box 1620 Bergen Street and Buffalo, Buffalo Avenue. Engine 227 has been uh, called out as well, so we'll get him there. We'll AI him. Let's pull you down, and we'll go to F2. New unit, FDNY, and 227. There we go. Let's get him loaded in. Yeah, had an absolutely awesome weekend. Had some friends come visit us. And uh, we did some cooking out and grilled out and uh, just basically hung out all day long. It was an absolutely gorgeous weekend. You couldn't ask for a prettier weekend. Been really windy here, like for days and days and days on end. We've had critical fire weather. It's been like crazy windy, like dust storms and all that stuff. And this weekend, it just turned out to be beautiful. Like you couldn't ask for a better day. So that was cool. All right, 227 is in. Where is our call going to be? Down here on Bergen Street. Uh, which one is it? Uh, I think I went too far. I think it's this building right here. One of these two right here. So let's get 227. We got him in the active selection over here for the AI menu. We'll select move to. We'll scroll him around with the mouse wheel. And we'll park him right there. All right, now let's go jump into uh, our vehicle, the, the ambulance. And we'll be on our way. All right, let's hit the engine, park and brake lights. We're good with that. Uh, I think we just go down a few streets, right? All right, let's roll. Traffic sparse again today. I don't know what's up with that. Some days I load the game, there's all kind of traffic, and other days, not so much. I think we went down a little bit too far, but it'll be all right. We'll eventually work our way over there. The, the fire guys, they're there taking care of them, so. Shouldn't be a big deal, right? Like the machine gun siren. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, man. It's good to be back in Emerging YC. I really enjoy the uh, EMS calls. I always have. Like, they just... I've always had a lot of fun with these, these types of calls and uh, treating people and that sort of thing. I could almost go for a, a sim that's just entirely nothing but EMS. I really just could. Um, let's see, that's going to be, yeah, let's go back this way and we'll swing the block because I just, you know, I really don't like going one way with this traffic. They're not very accommodating. Usually it's more of a pain in the ass than what it's worth. So, so we're just going to swing the block. He's all right. He just fell off a ladder. I mean, how, how bad could it be? You know, how bad can it be? Maybe possible head injury, possible brain bleed, um, maybe a spinal injury. So yeah, it could actually be pretty bad, but uh, either way, we swung the block. All right, we're here. Let's set the brake and we'll hop out and check this guy out. Let's grab a stretcher here and get you. There we go. Yes, broke 2,000 subs. I already hit 2,100 subs. It's been awesome. I really do appreciate it, guys. It just it means the world to me. I'm glad that uh, people enjoy 
and uh and like hanging out you know hanging out with me oh damn yeah this is bad <laughs> why is he so bloody he fell off a ladder it's not like he impaled himself or anything all right let's hit uh let's drop that and then let's hit lower all right let's go check dude out see what's going on with him because this doesn't look too good right like he is a bloody freaking mess uh let's hit a actually i gotta pull that back up never mind there we go uh let's see oh the head is red that's not good difficulty breathing spinal fluid leaking from his left ear fixed people semi-conscious facial lacerations of minor burns i don't know how that happened rest per minute eight temp is 98 degrees so let's see what does he say on his stats here uh, his temp's 98, his pulse is 65, his blood pressure is 125 over, I'm going to say 80. His respirations are 8, that's not good at all. His pupils are 5. Uh, possible neck spinal injury, yeah. And uh, everything else looks okay. Well, I think the very first thing we're going to do is apply a C-collar, get his head stabilized, his head and neck stabilized. And let's see, what else could we do? Uh, he's having trouble breathing. What is he, um, you know what, hang on. Let's, before we do anything else, let's take this down. Let's get a backboard. We'll load him up on the backboard. And uh, then we'll start checking on some other stuff to treat him. Get over here, grab him up real fast. Uh, treatments. Oh, no, we done flipped him over. Oh, dude, I am so sorry. <laughs> so we're noobs. There we go. We flipped him back. We're noobs. We're a new paramedic, and I'm a one-man job. Like, my uh, my help is busy. They couldn't make it today, so I'm having to do it by myself, which really sucks. And seriously, what's up with this ladder? It looks like the ladder was from the 1800s. Like, they can't afford a nice fiberglass ladder or aluminum ladder. <laughs> it literally looks like something straight out of the 1800s. Looks like something from uh, Little House on the Prairie, right? Like, seriously, guys, y'all get a better ladder. I mean, they're dealing with hazmat stuff in here. You got that barrel right there. Some kind of a, a flammable or explosive barrel. I cannot pick him up to save my damn life. Like, why not? You know what? Let's just load him on the stretcher. We'll just do that. Uh, Move patient. There we go. Okay, we're good with that. All right, let's go back to the vitals uh, or examining treatment i mean and let's go vitals monitor and we'll pull you back down let's see what he looks like now heart rate 66 is o2 stats that's what i was really interested in uh 80 80 percent that's not good so his uh, o2 stats are low his respirations are eight so 115 over 75 for his blood pressure i'm wondering at what point do you intubate at what point do the o2 like uh, how low does O2 stats have to get before you say, you know what, we need to intubate this guy? You know, average respiration is what, 18 a minute, something like that. This dude is eight. So, uh, I mean, he's a little less than half. Blood pressure doesn't look that great either. I don't think we need to intubate, not at 80%. I could totally be wrong because I tell you guys all the time, I don't know. I don't know for sure, but uh, I, I'm just guessing we don't. But we will put him on oxygen. We can do that. So uh, let's administer some oxygen. Um, let's go to his arm and give him some IV fluids. Just in case. I don't know. I don't necessarily think we're going to push anything right now, but you never know. Like we may need to at some point. And uh, we'll give him. Um, he's got a head injury. I don't know if morphine is something we could do with a head injury. I don't know. I don't know. We'll give him some aspirin. <laughs> we'll give him some aspirin. Maybe that'll help. Um, I really, I think that's good for now. Like, I don't know what else, what else we could really do for this man. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's close this out and we'll grab him up and uh, load him on the bus and get him out of here. Yes, I did say bus. I've had some people say bus. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's an old school term, term, you know, like it, it. I guess they don't use it anymore. I don't know. I've had... I can't grab them from that end. Really? Can I not? Not let me grab them at all. What's up with that? Uh, let's see if we can do it now. 
Bet we can. I just didn't. I didn't raise them up. Yeah. Okay. That's what it was. Never mind. My bad. Uh, old school term. Yes, the bus. I've heard. Uh, I've heard ambulance called the bus for years. So I don't know. Maybe it's a regional thing. Maybe it's an old school term. I don't know. But it is the bus. It is the bus with lights and siren. All right, homie. Let's load you up here. And we'll get him out of here. Close the doors up. And. Man, we're like dripping blood all over the place. That's bad. That's really bad. Those facial lac lacerations must be like <laughs> really seriously bad. All right, let's hop in. And uh, you know what? Let's tell 227 to get out of here as well, too. Let's tell him to uh, get to the firehouse. And I think I got to jump back in. Um, yeah, I got to jump back in the ambulance. It took me out. Never mind. Go back this way. There we go. Now we'll hop in and go. All right, so yeah, we're just going through the motions. There isn't a, a hospital on the map, but for you guys that aren't familiar with this game, it, it like you can't really do anything there, so there's no point. Will you get off my bumper, dude? Seriously, like what the hell? Yeah, we just go through the motions. We'll uh, we'll probably just end it here and uh, pick up with our next call because there's really no point in taking them all the way over there. All right, we're back hanging out on our usual spot on the street where we spawn in. Let's see about another call. We'll hit F1. And we'll go to the call list. So uh, what do we have here? I think... Let's do the church. Let's do the church. It's been a while since I've done that one. All right, let's go back to MDT. So this one's going to be uh, engine 234 has already been called out. It's going to be uh, 1612 185 Buffalo Avenue. Uh, cardiac emergency in church. So uh, maybe a heart attack. Something like that. Maybe an irregular heartbeat. I don't know. We're going to go uh, roll that way and find out. First of all, let's get uh, 234 on the way as well. Let's hit F2 and... Uh, oh, that's just like literally just right down the street behind us. It looks like. All right, yeah, here's the church. 234, we'll pull him up. It says uh, active selection. 234, you always want to make sure because you might accidentally select something else. Sometimes it'd be a little finicky. Uh, we'll hit uh, move two and we'll put this guy right here. Looking at 234, okay. All right, there we go. Now let's jump back in our ambulance. And we'll head that way. All right, engine brakes, lights. Let's go. Get some siren action going here. Yeah, I like the Fortis. I've said uh, many, many times, the Fortis is the one that has all the lights working. The other ambulance does not. It does not have the blue lights on it. Up in the cab. Check it out. Ah, I don't know, like this, uh, the view doesn't seem a it seems a little bit off. Like, it's not quite oriented right. Right? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's quite oriented. It seems like you need to be a little bit further uh, up and then a little bit down. We'll do it. We'll go with it, though. Make sure here. Yes, every time I do a response, I'll, I get comments all the time. Spur, you, you go so slow. It's really not like, it's not as slow as what you would think. You know, it, from the exterior view makes it look slow, but uh, when you get in the interior view, it's like night and day. It's completely different. Uh, we're just going to be... Okay, I see it now. Let's go, people. Go, go, go. Of course, got to slow down for the intersections a little bit. Clear will make sure we're okay. Just don't want to go barreling right through them, right? Bad things happen when you do that. Come on. Get out of the way, taxi. Why you want to get in the intersection and then block it? I think we'll just go right here. Man, this thing's bouncy. It needs a suspension job or something. All right, let's go back to this view and then let's hop out. And it always does that. It always gives me that weird first-person view when you first get out. 
All right, let's see, because I have a feeling we're going to need... No, we don't. We don't need the ladder. Sometimes uh, there's a gate on here, and sometimes it'll be locked, but it may not be locked for the, uh, the cardiac. It may not. All right, let's uh, go to the door. Let's grab a stretcher. Yeah, I seriously could. I could just do a game of just EMS calls. It's, if it's involved enough, like this could be like, it, it could be so much more involved. You know, it really just could. What they really need is like a, uh, you know, we're gonna leave this right here because I'm gonna be a pain in the ass to take it in that door. So let's, uh, let's drop it here and uh, lower it. Like you could totally, you could totally have like an EMS hospital simulator or something where you like you take them into ER, you treat them, you do uh, you do some imaging and stuff like that. Like the sky's the limit, you can do all kind of stuff. All right, sir, can you hear me? It's the New York Fire Department, FDNY paramedic. What's going on today? Oh, he's done falling out. <laughs> he's done falling out on the floor. Uh, you know what? Before we do anything, let's check them out. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, uh yeah, he, maybe, maybe he's okay. Doesn't show anything terribly bad there. All right, let's pull you back down and let's put him on the backboard. Just in case we need to do CPR or anything like that. Oh, we got him on the... Man, I'm just having a hell of a time picking them up today and moving them like I just can't seem to Oh, come on. I just can't seem to do it like seriously guys. I can't there we go All right, let's check them out a little better here Actually, no, let's not we're not gonna check you out, dude. You're gonna hang on for a second We gotta like I need to turn him around to get him out the door, but uh, Yeah, this isn't good at all if I can do this. Oh, <laughs> we're banging him on all the pews. Sorry, I'm sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. I know we're like hitting you on everything on the way out. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> it's not, it's a little clunky. It's a little clunky. That is for certain. Wish we could get him turned around somehow. Uh, yeah. I, uh, we can kind of like, no, it always it straightens them back out. Every time I drop them and pick them back up, it straightens them back, straightens him back out. Need to work on my speech today. Um, let's do this. Let's raise this up and let's grab it and let's move it closer to the door at least. Here, all right. Now let's uh, hit X and drop and we'll lower you back down. And we may be able to just load them straight on there from here. Let's see. No, we can't. Damn it! Seriously. Why you be in such pain? All the time something. Reminds me of the movie uh, Mother, Mother Jugs and Speed. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those old movies from back in the day. They had to, uh, they had to carry a guy down some stairs. Really big fella down some stairs, right? And uh, they're paramedics, of course. It's about paramedics. About an ambulance crew. They had to carry him down some stairs. And this rickety, I think it was a rickety building. It's been like years since I've seen that movie. But uh, I want to say it was kind of a building that was in bad shape, right? And um, they're carrying him down the stairs, and the stairs gave way, and one of the paramedics' leg, either one leg or both legs, went through the stairs. And uh, there's a snake down there, wound up biting them. <laughs> so it wasn't good. It wasn't good. That That's like a really, really super old movie. All right, uh, what can we do now? Let's do... Let's hook him to vitals. Let's check his vitals real fast. All right, 69 beats per minute. That's pretty good. Not bad. He's uh, statting 99% on his O2, 18 respirations per minute. He's 113 over 73. He, I mean, on paper, he looks really good. It's another one. He doesn't, honestly, he doesn't look that bad. Like, you couldn't ask for better stats than that. He's dead on. He's like perfect. Picture perfect. All right, let's um Okay, let's do this. This is what we're going to do, guys. This is the plan. We're going to start mode an IV. 
I always like Star Mona IV because you never know. You never know if you might need to uh, do something. So there you go. We got him on IV, right? Yeah, there we go. Got him on IV. Um, we'll give him a little O2 as well. I mean, it's not going to hurt, you know, right? He could legitimately be having problems or it could just be something as simple as a panic attack. You don't know. All right, let's raise this up. Let's grab the stretcher. Let's get him out of here. Get him on the bus. Get him out of here. Yeah, I think that's all we're going to do. I don't know like much more we could do. Like, unfortunately, we don't we don't have a way to tell if he's like in a, a regular rhythm or anything like that, you know, so. Uh, we'll take him. Return stretcher. Close the doors and get out of here, guys. Let's do it. All right, we'll uh, we'll cart this dude to the hospital, and I think we might do uh, at least one more call. We may do another one, but uh, two, one or two, something like that. We'll see. We'll just go with it and see how it goes. All right, we'll uh, we'll catch up with the next call. All right, guys, we're back. Just pulled up our uh, last call. This is going to be kind of a big one. We'll go out with a bang. It's going to be for a car crash. Uh, let's see what it says on Ralph Avenue. Auto extraction or extrication with injuries. Uh, it's on Atlantic Avenue. Let's see. It's calling out uh, engine 227, ladder 123, rescue 2, squad 252, and battalion 37 are all called. Let's, uh, let's go in and start spawning some of these in. Let's start getting them in here. Let's see. We'll do uh, 227. I think some of these we're going to drive on our own. Some of these we'll drive. Let's see, get him in. There we go. Let's do uh, ladder one, two, three. Yeah, I had someone leave a comment the other day. Said, "Spare you realize you can AI these something to that effect." A lot of times I paraphrase the paraphrase these, but um, was saying basically that I could AI these, you know, instead of just driving everything there. It varies a lot. Every video, you know, as sometimes I do AI a lot of stuff. Um, sometimes I drive it. Uh, there's a lot of people that like both, you know, so I try to accommodate both. There's a lot of people that really just love the response in the rigs, in the equipment with lights and siren and all that stuff going, you know, they just, they love that experience. So, uh, we do tend to lean towards that a little bit. Plus I just, I love driving them. It is, it's, it's fun as hell rolling down the street with uh, lights and siren blaring and, you know, wailing on the horn and all that stuff. I need rescue too. Let's get him. So yeah, it varies a lot. You know, I, I think uh, anyone that watches me uh, regularly will know that. Uh, if you're new, then you might, you know, you miss out on some things, unless you you caught up, you know, with like previous episodes and stuff like that. But uh, let's see, squad two five two. Let's get him. I don't think we're gonna worry about battalion. I really don't. We'll. Um, We'll bring, let's see, we'll AI squad. You know, I actually know we're not, we're going to drive all these. We'll drive all of them out here. We're going to enjoy some fire trucks since we've been uh, heavily EMS. We'll, uh, we'll hop in and enjoy as soon as it decides want to load up. Taking it a minute. It's going to take a hot minute. There we go. Two, two, seven. All right, let's, uh, let's get the well, if it wants to cooperate. There we go. Now we got it, and we opened the door. We got to close this back. There we go. All right, let's go. So, yeah, I do. I get a lot of comments about that. I had a comment the other day. said, Spurry, you know, they don't walk around in their uh, turnout gear all day. Yeah, I, I know. I, I know. I just, it, it, it's a game. You know, it's, it's a game. Sometimes we get out of the turnout gear. Uh, sometimes we don't, you know, it's as simple as that. Uh, you know, it's not a big deal to me. I don't sweat it either way too much. So, uh, let's see, let's catch the door and, oh, it's got that tiny, tiny click box today, right? This is literally going to be like just right down the street. Yeah, it is just right around the corner here. Let's turn that down a little bit. They picked a good spot to have a car wreck, right? Like literally just a block down from the fire station. All right.
right, let's get, uh, let's go right here. We'll block traffic off. And let's hit the brake. All right, let's hop. You know, I didn't even think about a hydrant. Damn it. I should have done that. I didn't even think about it. Oh, luckily we got one right here on the corner. So let's go ahead and we'll get this hooked up. We're going to go ahead and knock the fire out before we bring anything else. And then uh, we'll bring the rest of the equipment. We'll bring it all. I, you know, of course, I know like this stuff would all be showing up just about simultaneously or close to it. But, uh, you know, it's a one-man show. We have to do what we can in the confines of the game with one person. So, pull the attack line. And we'll get over here and get some water on this. Get it out. All right, let's drop you down. Reconnect. There we go. All right, let's get you hooked up. Yes. All right, I am looking forward to the new update. I cannot wait, guys. I, I really, I hope it does well. I hope it does well and solves a lot of issues for a lot of people when they're able to play this. Just have to wait and see. All right, let's get our water going. Exciting times, I'm telling you guys. Exciting time in firefighting simulation. It seems like everyone has been uh, kicking it up in high gear. Lately, you got Into the Flames, got a huge, ep, you know, update coming out and uh, more stuff planned for the future. Uh, the flashing lights just came out with an update, uh, what, the other month, maybe a month or two ago. Uh, Emerge NYC got a, a planned update. So, I mean, I, the only one I don't really know that much about is the squad. I don't keep up with that one. Honestly, haven't hardly looked at that one at all. So I couldn't tell you much about it. Good squad 252 will bring you mirrors. It's interesting that they're bringing a squad and rescue 2 to a, a car wreck. That honestly, that like, it seems like a lot of manpower, right? For just a one car accident. We'll do it though. We'll do all the things. Nice horn. All right, y'all get out the way. Get out the way. Oh, it's just literally just a few blocks down as well. I do. I enjoy driving the equipment. I love it. I, I It's some of the best part to it. Honestly, well, we done got another. Was that car there before? I don't know if he was or not, but it looks like he's done gotten tangled up in the... Uh, this it is as well. Let's see if we can despawn this guy right here. Let's bump him. Come on, get out the way, dude. You can despawn. Let's back off. Nope, he is insistent. <laughs> he is like very much insistent on uh, being in this accident scene here. You know what? We're just going to push you out of the way. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Not completely legit, but you know, you have to do what you can do. There we go. All right, who else we got? Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, rescue two. Let's bring him. Here we go. Get the door here, and we'll hop in and be on our way. Do a little train horn action in, right? Get a better view. All right, which way we need to head? Uh, we're going to go against the green. To the right, but that's all right. We got the bike lane we can use, so. Come on, let's get the tiny, tiny click box. <laughs> it's the tiniest click box ever now. It's weird. I'm like, did they sneak in a patch? Did they sneak in a patch for that and make it like really small or is it just me? I don't know. You hit you. You is going to be the train horn for people that have asked. I like the regular horn too. Right, that's pretty sweet as well, honestly. And from what I understand, they don't use the train horn a whole lot, and it's not like they go around. Uh, they don't go around town just wailing on it all the time. I'd imagine people might would complain about that. Mm. 
All right, let's see. We're here. Yeah, it's not bad right here. Yeah, this is going to be a really involved accident scene. Damn, like we've got all kind of stuff here for this. You know what? We'll pull him over here. We'll pull him right here. There we go. All right, let's hop out. I think we've got one more, right? Ladder one, two, three is the last. I'd get some screenshots as well, too. Uh, ladder one, two, three. Yes, the crazy ladder, guys. Always have to get them involved. We get it? There we go. All right, engine lights, park and brake. The usual. And we'll get out of here. All right, let's grab that door if we can. Yeah, the click box is so small now. I, I don't get it because before, like how long have I played this game and like you just barely click? Of course, homeboy is going to get all in front of us right here. You just barely, like, you just randomly click around the door. You could be, like, 10 feet away from it, and the door starts coming down. It's happened to me a bazillion times. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Y'all go, get out of the way, people. Get out of the way, Corvette. Yeah, it looks like we're getting pretty close, right? Like, it's just literally just right down here. Once again, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to clear in front of me the other direction? All right, where can we go with this guy? I think, I think right here. He was about as good as any spot. All right, let's hop out. And we'll oh, grab some screenshots. Dude can wait in the car for a bit. We'll get some screenshots because it's kind of a nice looking scene there. I mean, we've got uh, quite a few things going on here, right? All right, there we go. Got our screenshots. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this dude in turnout gear. You know, I've heard that they don't wear turnout gear responding to a wreck. I've seen, like, the FDNY videos that I've seen, I've seen them in turnout gear. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, well, let's go check this guy out, Gavin. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, <laughs> That's definitely what you don't want to hear when they uh, walk up to the scene. <laughs> uh, what do we got? What do we got? Patient's not breathing. He's got black soot around his mouth and nose. The car was on fire. Audible trouble breathing 80%. I don't know what they mean by that. Audible trouble breathing 80%. Maybe he's statting 80% on O2. I don't know. Difficulty breathing, we d we know he's got difficulty breathing. We absolutely know that. Smile fluid leaking from his left ear, fixed pupil, semi-conscious. Patient is breathing, patient's breathing is slow and shallow. He's got laceration to the face, minor burns. Rest per minute, zero. Though so he's most definitely got difficulty breathing. He's got possible spinal neck injury. Uh, lower arm deformity, so broke arm and broke leg. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff going on. Oh, we need the ambulance. I completely forgot about the ambulance. We got to roll the ambulance here, guys. Like, seriously. You know what? We'll get this guy out. We'll get him out with the firefighters. And then we'll roll an ambulance. So I think first thing we're going to do, right? First things first. We're going to go to his head. And apply a C collar. Get his neck stabilized. He's got a uh, neck injury, possibly. All right, we're good with that. And we're gonna have to get him out of here too. Yeah, we are, we're gonna have to get him out. Uh, we need the jaws, jaws, where are the jaws at? You know, let's get them all squad. I think they're on here somewhere. Where are you at? Here, maybe? Yes, 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 got the jaws, all right. Of course, gotta crank it up before we go over there. 
that is one thing I would definitely love to see tweaked in the game is like a way to uh, only cut this stuff on when you want it on. I'd love to be able to just like pick it up and move it and not have to worry about cutting it on every time I pick it up. Let's get back a little bit here. All right, sir, just hang tight. I, I know you're in an uncomfortable position. That looks really bad, but we'll have you out in just a second. As soon as I can get oriented with this spreader here. We're trying. There we go. Nice. All right, we popped the door off. Let's go put this back. We'll put it back. Yeah, I, I know, like, a lot of stuff we do in here isn't legit. It's not really meant to be. You know, it, it's made, it's all for, like, entertainment purposes, stuff like that. I suppose the last person needs to be telling anyone how this stuff should go down. I can tell you that right now. Like, I don't have a clue, so. All right, let's grab, uh, let's grab backboard. Yeah, all right, so we got a sea collar going. Let's get him on the backboard. Uh, there we go. Okay, now I think would be a good time to roll the amulet. So let's do that. Let's just pretend all this is happening in real time and everyone's kind of showing up right here together. It hasn't been 10 or 20 minutes, you know. Uh, oh, wait, we got the fort. It's already up. Never mind. Let's pull you back down. There we go. Let's uh, jump in on him. There we go. All right, let's do it. Uh, which street? Which street do we need to go? I think Fulton. We'll take Fulton. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little oversteer there. Whoa, a little bit oversteer. Yeah, that's it. Y'all clear. Y'all clear the road, please. Get out the way. They're just blowing through those intersections like no tomorrow. <laughs> we should be clearing them, but we're not. Here we are. Yeah, let's go back this way. Yeah, okay, this works out perfect then. Oh, school bus, wait. Nope, you need to wait, dude. I think right here is good. Sweet, yeah. This is a uh, this is a major scene, guys. Got lots of stuff going over this uh, single car accident. Let's go ahead and uh, grab this. Grab a stretcher. Stretcher. Yeah, I've played hospital games before. There's one I played. Um, oh, what is the name of it? I can't think of the name of it now. It was back years ago. Years and years ago, they had this hospital game. I can't remember. Then there's another one that came out. I don't know if it's the same developer or not, but it's a little bit more cartoony. It's not quite the same. I mean, none of them has been, like, highly realistic, honestly, but um, it's a little different. And then there's one that Ameriti got. She's barely played it, but, uh, oh, I, it, it seemed like a lot more involved. Like, you could do a whole lot of stuff. Um, with that game. All right, let's get back to our patient here. Let's go to his arm. Let's give him IV fluids. Let's uh, splint his uh, fractures. We'll splint this one. Is he going to do it? There we go. Splint that one and splint that one. And let's see, what else do we need to do? Let's get him on. Uh... Oh, dude, I, I hear. Wait, you're supposed to be like dead, but uh, let's hook him to a vials monitor, see what he looks like. Heart rate zero, uh, respiration zero. Uh, his O2 is 15%. Yeah, that's not good at all. Not good at all. All right, so uh, this leads me to another viewer comment. We get them all the time, which I really do like. It said, uh, when someone's flatline, you can't really, uh, you can't shock them because there's a lack of, uh, I'm not going to get into the technical terms, but uh, it just, it won't work. Uh, it's Technically, it's not supposed to work. Because uh, there's a lack of electrical signal in the heart when it's flatline, flat line, what, uh, whatever. Uh, it, it's true, though. Good point. Uh, that is a really good point. So, at that point, you give, I think you give, like, pressers to uh, try to get the heart started back. But, uh, 
I said we can only kind of do in the game what we can do we do what we do uh, so we could give him epi we're gonna see uh, that's what I wanted to do I wanted to see if epinephrine by itself would start the heart back let's see I hear a heartbeat yes it did epi did do it yeah okay epi did it so uh, pressers work so his uh, his O2 is still really bad Blood pressure's okay. That's not bad. All right, so we got to work on his breathing here. Uh, there's something to that. I can't remember. I think if I tried to uh, intubate him, I can't remember if it was intubate or shock him, it would bag him. So we're going to do it the old school way because I don't want to jack this up. So let's intubate. And let's, uh, let's give him oxygen. Now, let's look at the monitor see what it looks like here. Yeah, ooh, his respirations are still real crappy. Like, that's not good at all. Like, he's practically not... Did we intubate? Like, we did intubate him, right? I mean, he's on oxygen. Um... Yeah, I don't know, guys. I... I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried we're going to wind up bagging this guy, and I don't want to do that. So, I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and load him up and get him out of here and call it a day. Because uh, weird things happen. Weird things happen. I hate to jack this up. Let's look at him one more time. Yeah, his respirations are zero. That's weird. I've never seen that before. Especially after, like, uh, intubating or giving oxygen. Usually it comes up. So I'm wondering, did it not? Oh, uh, we don't have the option to intubate anymore. So he's got to be... Uh, we can give him rescue breaths. Maybe that'll work. Yes, okay, yeah, seven per minute, seven respirations per minute, so, uh, yeah. There you go, that works, sweet, okay. Load you up, dude, let's get you out of here before something bad happens. Uh, let's hit L and raise him up, hit G to grab. And we get you on the ambulance and roll, we'll roll up out of here. All right, let's load him up. Turn stretcher. There we go. Pose us up. We'll stand here for a minute. Take us a smoke break. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Keep the suggestions coming. I really enjoyed this one. This was a good break from the fires. I love the EMS stuff. I really just do. I love all you guys. And with all that said, we'll catch you in Brooklyn next time. Peace.